Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, let's have a look on this uh, add mask with height combination. But before that, we need to explore a lot of things here about. Uh, so let's get started with this. So firstly, I would like to switch off these two layers and then start working on this object called body and then start putting something here. So I would like to uh, start with uh, the add fill layer and also just uh, delete that layer which is there here already so in this uh, layer you if you go to the height okay we can add some texture so i'm going to choose uh, some texture to this and uh, probably i'll be choosing some soft uh, gaussian blur okay let's pick the clouds okay so you should able to see something like that some rough terrain I'll go to this uh, particular option called shader settings and uh, I would like to um, put the uh, displacement here okay this is enabled so enable the displacement and we have the subdivisions here so you can put subdivisions of this polygons and the wireframe okay so you got this uh, surface here i'll just try to tweak the value of this uh, surface okay let me put a value of 0 0.1 okay maybe it looks too rough and then i'll also control the subdivisions through which i got more polygons and you should be able to see this is the average surface and the surface has been pushed and pulled uh, uh, from the surface okay I mean to the center so I'll just put a value of 0 0.1 and then put a subdivisions of uh, 10 there okay so let's um, explore the uh, balance value here and uh, what we will do is we will go to the height feature and then just reduce the height okay so i've got some uh, rough surface here you could see okay so i've changed the scale value i've added a texture which is dirt 4 and then you can explore the balance you can explore the contrast all that so i'll just leave it and then i'll go to this wireframe and switch it off wireframe was there only for you to visualize how the original model was looking and how far this model has been displaced okay so far so good i've got something nicely here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another layer which is going to sit on the top okay and uh, i'll i'll select the color to something muddy and uh, i'll also change the blending mode to normal here because i don't want displacement uh, previous displacement to be multiplied with this and getting the same result i want something very flat okay so if you could see this is the layer which is sitting on top of it and uh, if you remove that you got this one okay so you got two layers mm, let me change this to more dirt color and then make it more rough that should be fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this uh, add mask with height combination okay now what happened is it's it's trying to mask the snow based on the amount of uh, height what you have given here okay so if i just go down to the height base layer okay and then if you increase the height or decrease the height okay this has got some value right so this is zero now if i select the layer mask which is compare uh, with the height okay which you have picked here so uh, so it's working on height and it is like a conditional um, result what you're getting so what it is right now doing is this layer which is the dirt color this layer and uh, 
it is comparing with the layers which are below it okay so you have different options so there is a, a condition going on here this layer is greater than the layers which are below so if I generally choose this value this is basically making it soft and uh, the value of 0 okay which is there and it is com it is keeping that uh, dirt at that 0 level whatever is there below 0 has been masked out so that part of snow is not visible so if I cl uh, open the operation uh, we have uh, with tolerance uh, which is equals to so anything which is equals to zero is only masked rest of the other parts are not masked which means something which is more going inside like a cavity something which is popping out about that value as a bump both are kept so the cavities are kept the bumps are kept the area which is at the zeroth level is masked so if I just choose this one greater than anything which is above zero is kept and anything which is below zero is completely masked out area let me choose less than now here anything which is above zero is masked and rest of them here is now kept so all cavities are kept bumps are masked okay if I just go to the height value okay here with a value of 0.2 now if I come to the mask here and then say greater than anything which is greater than 2 is kept and anything which is below 0.2 is masked out when I say equals to anything which is equals to 0 is kept above that which is bump below that which is cavity is gone uh, is there uh, only masked area is this okay now opposite thing works here so keep exploring this it's uh, basically used uh, in creating such uh, texturing something like terrains and all where is the height yeah here yeah. let's put it to zero I should able to see that nice uh, masking happened here based on the height of the previous layers that's what this uh, add mask with a height combination is doing and you can keep exploring different textures okay I think I need to go to this guy and then you have lot of other types of textures which are black and white spots okay uh, we have cells checkers um, if you increase the scale value to 3 then you should able to see that very interesting uh, exclusions here grunge maps it looks like like a furry body right cool directional map creases looks something like a, a zebra pattern or any any patterns you want on the body something like that oh, really cool results I'm getting we got this uh, uh, it looks like a nice scaled uh, stones awesome super cool effect again that that's uh, based on the uv direction that also you need to keep in mind 
very nice results i'm getting here with this okay just explore this and then you get um, um I, you, you can generally bring some textures from outside on also try based on the values and a uh, lot of possibilities i could see here okay 